Now what am I everyone? So now today we'll be continuing further with the lesson who will be Ningto. But then a strange thing happened. Sanjoba, Sanyaima and Santoba, all three of them finished the race together. They were expert riders and all three reached the finish line at the same time. So the king had decided to test all his three sons, right? And then he wanted to decide the rightful heir. So he wants to test them to see if they possess the qualities which can make them a good ruler. So a race was organized. Now all three of them finished the race together. All of them were expert riders. So three of them reached the finish line on the same time. There was great excitement. Look at them, the people shouted. Shagol Thoba Nupa, such fine horsemen. But one question remained, who will be the Tungi Ningto? So there was a lot of excitement in the crowd. The citizens were all very excited. All of them shouted, look at them, look at them. They are such good horsemen. But still one question remained. Now out of the three, who will be the future king? The Ningto and Lima turned to their sons. The Ningto said, Sanjoba, Sanyaima and Santoba. You have proved that you are fine horsemen. Do something different, each one of you, so that we can decide who will be Tungi Ningto. So now the king and queen turned towards their sons. And the king said that his three sons had proved that they were expert riders, right? They were very good horsemen. So now he challenged them to do something different, something which was quite unique. So each one of them had to do something different from each other so that the king and his ministers could decide that who will be the rightful heir to the throne. Suddenly, Sanjoba mounted his horse and held his spear straight in front of him. He looked around. There was a hush among people. What is Sanjoba, the eldest, going to do? They thought to themselves. So now suddenly, Sanjoba mounted his horse he was the eldest son of the king and he held his spear right spear is a weapon which is used to hunt so it is known as the hunter's weapon so he held his spear straight and then he looked around so now all the people in the crowd you know became silent all of them were hush they were quiet they were looking around that what was the eldest son going to do sanjoba then looked at the huge kongnang standing majestically in the distance. He pierced the tree and jumped his horse right through it. Bravo, bravo, the people shouted. Thoro, Thoro, and then they fell silent. So Sanjaba was looking at the majestic tree which was standing in front of him. Then with the help of his spear, he pierced the tree. So his spear passed through the tree and then he jumped his horse through that puncture made inside the tree. So everyone was, you know, shocked. The people in the crowd started shouting bravo, bravo, and then they all fell silent. Now, why did they all fell silent? What happened next? We'll be reading about that in the next video, so stay tuned. Thank you so much.